Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, this is the daily chart and then we take a quick look at the shorter time frame. Uh, quiet Saturday, obviously. Daily chart just still shows us this wave 2 probably likely in the making. There are a few options how this could unfold here. But at the moment, um, for me, my, my main interpretation is that this is bearish what's coming down here. Yeah, and that we are coming down in a C wave of Y of wave 2 a little lower possibly targeting next um, the 22k level roughly okay in this c wave there are a few projections here on the daily time frame that we could use for example we could use the length of the a wave then we go to the high of the b wave and it takes us to round about 22,444 as a, a level to watch uh, i mean possibly lower but uh, if this is what it is it, this is certainly a target i would i would sort of aim for around the 50% retracement um, 22k could something more bullish play out surely but there are clear levels that need to break before i start to believe that because for me this action is still predominantly not bullish yet um larger time frame yeah you know don't get me wrong larger time frame yes but we'll talk about okay what's happening here so i have no confirmation that a lasting low has been established here on the 17th no it was the 11th of september so i have no no confirmation about that Therefore, I just go with a trend which is currently down and has been down since the middle of July. Um, if it keeps going, keeps going, and you know, until I see five waves up and three waves down, I assume it will keep going to the downside. 18k is for me like line in the line in the sand. Um, below that level, it opens the door to eight to 10k. A lot of people will panic about that. For me, because I've you know I've set up my account for risk management. Um, I would treat it as a gift basically if we come down to that level again whereas other people who might be in very strong leveraged long positions might blow up their accounts okay so it's it's all about how you set set yourself up um, you know in your own portfolio trading plan and so on I, I would well, very well welcome these prices down here because over the bear market while I have been accumulating I have set cash aside for exactly those scenarios and i always try to remind people you know see cash as a portfolio asset it should be part of a well-balanced portfolio okay um, the same way that you don't want to be all in crypto you want to have some, maybe some stocks and shares maybe some other assets maybe some 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 cash okay um, so it is exactly for those purposes for those opportunities you need cash in your portfolio very important never be all in it just doesn't make sense and it's foolish because um, you you will you know you will not be able to capitalize on those opportunities. Um, so that's I would welcome that, and and that's why I only buy spot as long as the trend is down, small positions. Whereas if we go lower and it somewhere it bounces and it forms the first five wave move up, in the three wave pullback, that's when I will put in at an aggressive long position. That's typically what we want. We want that five wave move up and three wave move down. Uh, and I'm watching for that. Okay. And if we are now taking a look at the shorter time frame, this is where we are. Basically, what we're watching now is this little element here, this little snapshot. And yeah, it looks like it needs still to come down a little lower. Um, I am count that primarily as a wave two top here. You know, the where we uh, exactly respected the 78.6 FIB level which is the theoretical maximum for a wave two. Okay, invalidation is not until we break above the, uh, well, 100% retracement, basically, 28,200, but it's okay. It, it didn't do that. It didn't even get there. So for me, you know, this is bearish as long as price stays below 27,480. It's pretty simple. If the price breaks above micro resistance, so obviously I'm watching here for another move down, at least one more low before we complete this wave one which would then lead to a larger pullback in a wave two. At least one more low, maybe two. Um, resistance is $26,803, pretty much. If we get above that level, then we only had three ways down. And I will assume that it's morphing from an impulse to the downside to maybe a diagonal structure. Yeah, because bear in mind, we're dealing here with, with a C wave that's coming down, a C wave, yeah. And this C wave might unfold as an ending diagonal. So that's certainly something to watch. Or even, or even, um, yeah, no, that's what I need to consider. Or there are some 
Oh, that's the dog. So there are some other ways of counting this, but I would I would then watch for a diagonal structure, yeah, which could unfold, or maybe a larger wave one that unfolds as a diagonal. There are different options, yeah. Um, a way to to turn this bullish, or at least short term bullish, would obviously be to look at this as um, an extension of the B wave in the white wave count, which would be A wave up in three waves, overshooting B wave to the downside, and now a C wave to the upside. Whereas I have to say. This doesn't really look like a C wave up. It could only be a WXY, so W in three waves, X wave, and then in three waves here, A, B, C, yeah, in wave Y of B. And then we could still come down later. So that's sort of, um, there's enough that a bullish wave count needs to prove, you know, before I believe it. So yeah, but that's what I'm watching for. Not really any change. Um, as I said, the weekend will be quiet. It felt like that. It, the chart showed it. It seems to be like that, okay? And I don't expect much movement today. Maybe going a little bit higher in resistance, that's fine. But it could very well just, um, you know, just move sideways here over the weekend on Saturday. And then Sunday, it might make a small spike. As it did here, you know, before into resistance and then come down and break that support level at 26,360. This is support. Um and breakout point to the downside basically for this head and shoulders pattern yeah uh, it could come down then and a break below the neckline of that head and shoulders pattern could take us first to 25,770 below that level I've got support at 25,350 which is also a very important level because it is the larger scale 50% um, retracement level which provided support here throughout September and also throughout August. So it's a very important level to watch. But yeah, I mean, nothing changed on this chart. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. You can find the links in the description. And as a channel member, if you're interested, tomorrow we've got the next member live stream on Sunday. We talk about breakout trading, pullback trading from an elliott wave point of view. And also you get access to Discord and Telegram as well as short-term market updates depending on which tier you're choosing. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.